Warning, lithium tea butoxide is extremely corrosive and lung irritant, so don't forget to use gloves, respirator and look in the fume hood. Thanks. Hello my dear chemists and welcome back to Akantharx channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a very useful source of tea butoxide anion and lithium counter ions. Yup, it's lithium third butoxide. But before we proceed any further, please don't forget to subscribe and watch the whole video to have 100% yield in any of your synthesis. Ok, let's go! Lithium T butoxide, in other words LTB, is a quite widely used compound for preparation of T butyl ethers or esters and is based in nucleophilic substitution as well as for a variety of cross coupling reactions. LTP has mostly covalent character, so it easily dissolves in aporotic solvents like THF, DMF, heptane and could be purified using sublimation under vacuum as hexamer at about 150 degrees C. Notably, in benzene it's also solvated as hexamer. This compound is pretty expensive in my opinion, $26 per gram, so now nah, I will make a simple reaction between lithium metal and third butanol in THF. It was a small theoretical part, so now let's go in the fume hood. First of all, I have made this setup consists from oven dried 100ml 3 necked round bottom flask, reflux condenser, store bar and thermometer. Remaining neck will be used for argon balloon as well. Now add 36ml of 100 THF distilled with lithium aluminum hydrate. Then add 7.5 grams of T-butanol partially recrystallized to remove the excess of water. Let me know if you want a short video about it in the comment section. Next slice into small pieces 1.7 grams of a lithium metal and put them into hexane to prevent from oxidation and remove oil using in storage of initial material. Further we need to flush the reaction vessel while argon pretty well. Look at my huge balloon. Also, may you have noticed the yellowish flavor of a solution. It's associated with third butanol THF short assemblies formation. Now put the whole construction into oil bath controlling temperature, then put all lithium pieces into it as quick as possible. Reaction becomes intensive at the reflux conditions, 61 degrees C, releasing hydrogen gas. After THF starts boiling, burst the system with an one additional time. Then close it with stopper for 3 hours. Due to covalent character of the final product, we probably could say that we are dealing with a lithium organic. You manage to see that lithium piece is like covered by mold, but actually it's blue. This color is due to alkali metal electron salvation in THF. After time is gone, lithium metal becomes shiny and let everything to cool down. Next, you should connect an argon balloon instead of a little stopper and a 5.1 inch stopper instead of reflux condenser. Further, filtrate a lithium tributoxide solution through 100 porous fritted glass filter by hands into 100ml round bottom flask purged with argon. Do it as fast as it possible. This solution could be already used in some sorts of reactions. Its concentration about 2.8 molar. But for my cross coupling synthesis, I need a solid one. So I'm gonna remove the whole THF under vacuum to prevent my product from moisture. Hey, don't forget to add some drops of T-butanol into the solution as stabilizer. I have used a water circulator water pump connected to liquid nitrogen trap equipped with anhydrous calcium chloride class tube. Add 
As you can see, lithium thermobutoxide just a white powder with a bit grey shade. Finally, I have collected 6.75 grams of the final product, which corresponds to 83% yield. To sum up, today I have shown you how to make a lithium terbutoxide from a pretty available reagents. If the video was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, crack the bell, like and comment my video in the comment section. Thanks for watching.